Today I want to continue exploring navigation use cases and specifically I want to go over how we can support re-navigating after some kind of action. So previously we created this navigate command and this is used in the views so for example we have our account view with a navigate home command and then on our account view model we use that command which is the navigate command to navigate to the home view model and that just does the navigation for us but perhaps we have a command such as a login command which we're going to implement in this video where we have to log the user into the application actually authenticate them and then navigate well if that's the case we can't use the navigate command because this is specifically dedicated to navigation so we need to integrate our navigation with the login command that we create so let's begin by first showing off what I've changed since last time so now we come to the home page and we can click start which takes us to the login page so here I would enter my credentials and then log in and it'd run the login command and then re-navigate me to the account view via the account view model so let's begin by setting up this login command on our login view model so I'm going to add a new command this will be the login command and we will inherit from command base so that all we have to do is implement the execute method and I'll go ahead and make this public too and for logging in we're not actually going to do any advanced authentication because that's obviously outside the scope of navigation so all I'm going to do in this command is just pop a message box and we'll say logging in and it'd also be nice if we could get the username so we'll get that do some string interpolation here so we're going to need our login view model for that and let's just get that into a field because that is how we're going to access the username that the user types and now we can just grab the username from that view model and that is logging in. After logging in, I want to navigate to the account page. And the way we do navigation, based on what we implemented last time, is by setting the current view model on the navigation store to whatever view model we want, and then the main view model grabs that current view model and updates what we're displaying in the application. So all we have to do in this login command is get our navigator and set the view model that we want. So we are gonna refactor this in a bit, but let's start off by just getting this to work. So let's get our navigation store in here because that's obviously where we need to set the current view model for the application. And now these are all the fields I need, so I'll generate a constructor now. And to go to the account page, all we have to do is set the current view model on our navigation store to a new account view model. And this takes the navigation store, so we can just pass that in because we have it. Now we just need to set up this command. So in our login view model, let's set the login command to a new login command. This needs this view model instance that we're creating in this constructor. So we can just pass that in. And we need the navigation store as well, which we can get through the constructor. So let's generate a parameter for that. And we have to update our command on the home view model where we navigate to the login view model because this constructor that's used in our navigate command as the create view model callback now needs the navigation store, which we conveniently have right here. So now let's go to the login view and let's log in here we go so we hit our breakpoint for our message box step over that show the message box and then we're going to go to the account view model let's just continue and there we go we're on the account page and we can go back home so all the navigation that we want is working so if we look at our login commands we're doing this navigation right here and if we look at our navigate commands we're doing the same kind of navigation so we kind of have our navigation logic where we set the current view model to whatever we want in multiple different places. So I want to consolidate this into a service where we can call some kind of nice clean function called navigate rather than going through and setting the current view model. And you guessed it, this is going to be the navigation service. And we're just going to have a single method to navigate and that will grab the logic from our navigate command and put that in the navigation service. So we are going to need our navigation store in here. Let's get a field for that. And then we will need a create view model callback in here as well. So actually, I'm just going to cut this out of my navigate command. And this create view model callback is generic. So it returns a TV model, which means our navigation service is going to be a generic for a TV model as well. And we are going to need the same constraint that we used in our navigate command. So we can copy that into the navigation service. And let's import view model base. And there we go. All navigate is going to do is set the current view model on our navigation store to whatever view model we want to create. And let's get these fields to the constructor. And now we can simply use the navigation service throughout our application. So rather than our navigate command taking a navigation store and a callback to create the view model, we can just get 
a navigation service in here. And make sure you import the right navigation service, not the one from system.windows.navigation. We want to use our navigation service. And quite simply, let's just regenerate our constructor. Whoops, and we got to make this generic too. So this needs to be for our T view model type, which is a view model base. And now when we execute the navigate command, we are simply going to navigate. And that will navigate to whatever view model is configured in our navigation service callback to create a view model. And now we can also simplify our login command. So I'm just going to get rid of this constructor because we're going to have to generate a new one anyways and get rid of the navigation source. So now we will use our navigation service. And our goal in the login command is to navigate to the account view model. So that will be the generic for our navigation service. And now let's generate a constructor. And then instead of manually setting the navigation to a current view model in this command, we can simply use our navigation service and navigate when we are finished. And now we no longer have to manually instantiate the account view model in this command. All this command really needs to do is log in and then navigate. So much easier to read and understand this code as well. And now let's update our constructor throughout the application because we now have to use our navigation service. Now I will admit this is kind of a pain to instantiate everything we need here. And it's a lot easier if we're using something like dependency injection, but we do have to manually instantiate our navigation service. And this takes the navigation store and a callback that takes no parameters and returns a new login view model. And here we have to pass in our navigation store as well. So as I was saying, lots of things to set up here. And also you might want to consider taking the navigation service through this home view model constructor rather than the navigation store just to get all this complicated instantiation out of the view model. Or you could introduce something called a create command delegate which I go over in other videos, but that's outside the scope of this video. Let's continue fixing our constructors. So I'm just gonna copy this navigation service instantiation and use that in the account view model, this time going to the home view model. And last but not least, the login command now needs a navigation service to go to the account view model. So we can go to the login page, log in. Here we go, we're gonna re-navigate and now we're on the account page. So we've introduced this navigation service. So all navigation, can just go through this simple service and call navigate and it'll automatically set the navigation store current view model to whatever view model we wanted to create when we instantiated this navigation service. And that's a lot easier to use in our commands because now all we have to do is call navigate whenever we want to navigate. Look at that, very nice. So that is where we're going to wrap things up. Simply showed off how to navigate after an action in some type of command rather than using a dedicated navigate command so that we can do other things like logging in. And then we added the navigation service to simplify navigation. So hopefully this helps you accomplish your navigation desires in your own applications. If you have any questions, criticisms, or concerns, be sure to leave them below in the comment section. Other than that, leave a like or subscribe for more, and stay tuned for more navigation awesomeness. Thank you.